Hello, Math Rocks, our students and parents. Happy Wednesday. It's Miss Inferrera back with Number Corner. All right, we're going to get right to work today. Uh, I already gave you a sneak peek of the card for today, so let's all say the date together. Today is Wednesday, May the 20th, 2020. All right, I'm going to zoom in so we can get a better look at this card. And we're going to fill in our calendar grid together and also uh, the 120 chart to see where Tad hopped to today. All right, so if you look at this card, we do have a yellow card. Tad is on there and he's starting on the number 73 because that is where he ended yesterday. So on the number 73, what we're going to do is we have one, two, three, four hops to the right. So let me get my 120 grid up so you can see it. And if you have yours at home, please follow along. And let's see if your answers are correct if you worked on this yesterday already. Okay, we're going to start on the number 73. And we're going to do four hops to the right. And we have to color it in yellow. All right, let's hop. And you can follow along with your finger on the screen also if you don't have this paper at home. Here we go. One, two, three four. So we landed on the number 77. So I have my paint bucket up top here. I am going to fill in the number 77 yellow. Now when we move to the right on our calendar, on, not our calendar, I'm sorry, on our 120s grid, we're only counting up by ones. So we went from 73 to 74, 75, 76, 77. So we're counting by ones. Okay, let's take a look at our chart here. We have the pattern with the colors, orange, purple, purple, yellow, yellow. And we're gonna scroll down so we can get to where today's date is. I already filled that in for us. We have the orange, purple, purple, yellow, yellow. So it looks like it's the end of the pattern. That means it's going to continue to start over tomorrow. Okay, I have the number 73 written there because that is where Tad started. And let's see if I can do this without any problems. I have to copy and paste the right arrow four times because he took four hops to the right. Oh boy, let's see here, you ready? One. Let's see if I can do it again. I'm going to move it over here. Two. I don't know if I'm going to even fit them all. Let's see. Three. One, two, three. Uh-oh. Oh, can I just have one day of this not messing up? One, two. You know, I'm erasing that. I'm sorry. I don't like that one. One, two. There we go. Another one, that's number three. And then I have to do another one. Four. Hmm, let me see here. You know what I can do actually? If you don't mind, I'm going to do this. So they're not all going to be next to each other on mine. Feel free on your own to draw them all next to each other, like what the calendar shows on here on the card. But mine aren't fitting too well, so I'm just going to put them like this. So one, two, three, four hops to the right. Now for our equation, he, Tad started on number 73. So that is the start of our equation, 73. Now, as you noticed with our 120 chart, let me move this over here. Uh, this is giving, this is all giving me a hard time today again. Okay, with our chart here, when we moved to the right, the numbers are getting larger. So we're not subtracting because that makes the numbers, that makes our answer smaller. We have to add. So the number, the answer is the sum and it is larger. So it's 73 plus, and let's use our number line to help us out. I'm going to circle the 73. And I have to take four hops to the right. That's what Tad did. One two, three, four. So it's 73 plus four hops. So I'm going to put that on my calendar observation chart here. 73 plus four equals, and he landed on the number 77. So that was the answer. Everybody kiss your brains if you figure that out on your own. Good job. All right, we're going to take a sneak peek 
for tomorrow's card. Uh, before I do that, let's just look at the pattern here. We want to see what the next color is going to be before I turn it over. We're going to try to predict. So the pattern was orange, purple, purple, yellow, yellow. So what do you think it's going to be? Oh, did you say orange? Well, let's take a look and see. Let me zoom out. That way we can read the date together. Tomorrow, after Wednesday, it's going to be Thursday, May 20, the 21st, 2020. Okay, I'm going to flip this over. Let's see if we were right with our predictions of the color orange. We were right. Very good job, guys. Kiss your brains. Okay, let me zoom in so you can take a close look at this. That way tonight you can work on this and try to figure out where, uh, where Tad hops to and where he lands. Okay, so here he is. He starts on the number 77 because that's where we landed today. And Tad goes up, up, left left. So I want you to work on that tonight. Try to figure out where he's going to land and also try to use your number line and make a math equation to match Tad's hops as well. Okay, let's go ahead to our days in school. Yesterday was the 159th day of school. So what I need to do is add another X and look what happens when I do that. The whole column is filled in. So I'm going to Draw a line since we have another group of five. So we count these columns by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 is half of this chart here. And if you count up by tens one more time, it's 60. So we have 160 days of school. So I'm not just going to erase that number nine at the end that's in the ones place. I have to erase the number that's in the tens and the ones place because we do not have five groups of 10 anymore. Now we have six groups of 10, see? One, two, three, four, five, six columns are filled in. So I'm going to change this. Instead of 150, it will say 160. So that's one for one group of 100, six for six tens, and then zero ones left over to make the number 160. All right, let's add another quarter for another day of school. I'm going to click and drag the quarter. The quarter is worth 25 cents. And I am going to help you guys count by 25s. We're going to count all of our money and keep counting up to see what comes next, to see how much we've collected so far. 25 cents, 50 cents, 75 cents, $1. $1.25. $1.50, $1.75, $2. Oh, I have to take the elevator down. $2.25, $2.50, $2.75, dollars so We have three $1 bills here to equal $3. But now we have two quarters left over, not just the one. So we had $3.25 yesterday. Oh, now I got to take a walk. All right, oh, got to walk a little further here. So we had $3.25, $3.25. Now, what comes next if we're counting by 25? Very good. Let me make sure that's on red. Good. Okay, here we go. Instead of $3.25, it's now $3.50. And if you weren't sure, you could just look at the beginning here of the counting by 25s, this pattern here, $25.50. So this is $3.25, $3.50. All right, boys and girls, good job. Kiss your brains. And what I want you to do is think about what will be next tomorrow when we add another quarter. How much money will we have? Okay, last but not least, we have our hidden coins that are inside of the hand. Okay, so yesterday I showed you that I had seven coins hidden in this hand that equaled 75 cents, and I wanted you to try to figure out what coins are hidden in the hand. I'm going to grab my magic wand here, and we're going to say our magic words to see if you guys figured it out correctly. Now, remember, these are challenge questions. They're a little bit more difficult, so if you didn't get it right, it's okay. Are you ready? Say the magic words with me. Abracadabra. Okay, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven coins. 
Now let's count them. We have two quarters, so we count them by 25s. 25, 50. But now we have nickels, so we have to keep counting up by fives. 55, 60, 65, 70, 75 cents. If, did anybody out there figure this out? I know it was a tricky one, but you just have to keep on working and keep trying and keep exploring, and then you'll get better at it. So everybody, good job out there. Uh, rock stars, I have another problem for you to solve for tonight. I'm gonna move myself right in the middle here. We are still making 75 cents again. This one's a little trickier because I believe we did make 75 cents before using only six coins, but this time you're making 75 cents with six coins, but you're not using any nickel. So you see, I put a nickel over here. Let's see if I can click and drag this nickel. There we go. See, we have a nickel here and I drew a circle with a line through it, meaning there's not gonna be any nickels in this bank. 75 cents using six coins, but do not use any nickels. And let's see if you can figure it out. All right, rock stars, I'm so proud of you. Keep up the good work. And I can't wait to see if anybody gets the right answer tomorrow. So join us again tomorrow for another day of Number Corner. Don't forget, rock on. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys.